What's up everybody, it's Major Linux once again coming to you on behalf of Majorshouse.com, blog.majorshouse.com, and Enthuge Reviews, EnthugeReviews.blogspot.com. I'm here to give you a little user tip. I'm pretty sure this might work with any Android device, but you know, I'm just kind of got bored at work and yeah, decided I'll test this on my Nexus 7. As you can see here, I've got a nice Nexus 7, nice little um, the Blue Rex case here, $15 on Amazon.com, beautiful, sexy case. For those who are still trying to debate on whether or not they're going to buy one. Um, as you can see here, I've got a nice little USB connector here. I forget what it's actually called. It's got some nice little fancy name to it. But what it allows me to do is to take my micro USB port here off to the side, which is currently used by it. And it allows me to plug in actual USB devices like flash drives. And as you can see here, it, tends to, it looks like it's a receiver. It looks like a... What? No, it's not. It's a Logitech receiver, you guys. What in the world is this man doing with a Logitech receiver plugged into his Nexus 7? We are about to see. If you notice here, it's actually the Logitech K400 keyboard that I actually wrote a review about on blog.majorsauce.com and in Thuge Reviews. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description once I get this thing posted to the net. Um... See, it's very nice keyboard. It's very small, built-in trackpad, keyboard, and all like that. But what I'm going to do here, that receiver actually belongs to this keyboard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to do this all with one hand. Okay. Oh, wow. Actually, that was pretty dope. What I'm going to do now is, because that shocked me, didn't know I could do that, is it acts similar to a screensaver. All right, so, you know, screen locked back up again. It's dark. What I'm going to do is now, because like both are light, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this trackpad here and wake, up my and wake up my tablet. As you can see here, there is a pointer on the tablet. It's my mouse, as you can see. I'm moving it left, right, up, down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to try to unlock it. Fortunately, this needs, you know, my hand in my lap in order to do this. So I'm going to bring it down, drag it down to unlock. Tablet is unlocked. As you can see, I unlocked it without touching it, so even that is a feat within itself. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this up a little closer um, so we can get the magic going. Yep, as you can see here, um, well, you can barely see it because you know, I've got the Google Plus widget here and it's very, very bright. Um, I activated said Google Plus widget, it's pulling up the article that we're showing, which I don't really want to see. So I'm going to hit the home button, takes me back, move it over, as a matter of fact, let's see, yeah, let's, let's do this, let's kind of do this, um, pretty sure I can set that right there, the keyboard, back that up a little bit, as you can see I'm taking the trackpad here, well, that still doesn't work, um, damn, my chair got stuck, on this mat, as you can see, you got my mouse here. Open up some recent um, apps. See, so you got my messenger app here, talking to the um, Geeks Gone Raw Enthuse crew. You know, I've typed that sentence a while ago. Um, what I'm going to do so that I don't make it redundant. So I'm actually going to write a Google Plus post. All right, so add a comment. I'm going to type. Let's see. Yeah, let's do it this way. Ooh, spelling is terrible. Writing this with Logitech K four hundred on my hashtag Nexus Nexus seven uh, exclamation point. So yep. It's kind of says writing this with Logitech. 
Okay, 400 on my Nexus 7. Just going to post it out to the public. So, I didn't make a video, so I actually just want to go ahead and click share at the top. And it's sharing. Okay, let me see. Sending. But it's there. It's right there. It'll be right there. Alright, now it's gone. Alright, and that it has been shared. I can go ahead and come down here and hit home. So I'm gonna come up here into my notifications menu, just like with your finger, just pull it on down. Click the app, pull up Pocket Planes. Very addictive game. So I'm gonna come over, oh, oh, gotta click the coin. Let's see. Yeah, I can click the coin. Just playing in Vlada stock. Let's see. It's like Kutching, Sapporo. Sapporo, I don't know how to pronounce it, and Soul. So we're going to go Sapporo, and then we're going to go to Soul. And then I'm going to do a click on the left on the left button and just drag it, or I can do a double click drag. And uh, I think we were going. Damn, I forgot just that quick. What the fuck I was going? Oh, it's going to Kitchen. Oh, okay. I'm going to click on Cebu and Kutching. Alright, ready to go. My plan's off. I'm go ahead and click home. Done with that for now. Um, but yeah, like I said. Like, so you can see here, I can either do a left click and left to move it. Or I can do, you know, the standard double click, just like with a laptop. And it would move, except this one didn't really respond that great, and it just opened up a um, Google Reader blog post article. Hopefully, okay. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna hit home, but as you can see, yeah, double clicking can work. Yeah, now it wants to work. Um, so yeah. Not sure if you're aware that you can do this. Um, I believe it can be done with the majority of Android devices. Um, but, you know, it's very helpful with the um, Nexus 7. Even though, like I said, I'm not sure if there's any apps that will probably stream into a bigger screen or whatnot. Um, it still seems like it's a pretty good um, thing to have. Like I said, if you're really about to type out something huge on here, like I, said, I have WordPress apps, so I can like really type out a blog article if I wanted to, and actually do it with with ease. If I bought this keyboard, um, as I said in the review, this keyboard is really small and would actually benefit me if I actually did take it somewhere with an actual laptop, or even if I just wanted to pack the Nexus Seven and just use it on here, which, as you can see, it works just fine. Um, even if you have bigger tablet, like a 10 inch tablet or something like that, um, like the uh, Motorola Zoom or what have you, or the, um, Ga or the um, Galaxy Tab, I'm pretty sure it works fine just there as well um, as a, um, like a laptop or a netbook replacement. Um, so yeah, I'm oh, sorry, fingers keep getting in the way, using my, I'm using my um, Galaxy S2 as opposed to my um, Nikon because uh, I've taken my Recharge the batteries out to put in an Xbox controller. You know, go extra life. That was pretty dope. Thanks to everybody who participated in that this year. Unfortunately, I've injured myself. My ass hurts. <laughs> but um, yeah. So definitely check that out if you do have a chance. You got a keyboard laying around. Oh, by the way, um, like again, yeah, this keyboard is thirty four dollars on Amazon. Um, also you the um device here. Like so I'm trying to find. I'm gonna try to find a link. To it and post it in the um, in the um, caption or whatever for YouTube. But this here actually costs less than a dollar. The only thing is, like I said, it is coming from China, and they tend just like um a cable that I recently bought for um my audio system here to hook up that laptop. It takes it a while, and yeah, just be patient on it. But like I said, it's well worth the wait um in getting it. Like I said, it's helped out. So again, not only are you able to plug in keyboards and mice to get it to work as an um, interface device, but you can also take it and plug it in on flash drives. Um, like I said, this is a 16 gigabyte Nexus 7, 
and even with 32 gigabytes coming out, like you wouldn't have to worry about storage as much. But for me, using Linux especially, it's kind of hard for me to move files um, between without having to use apps and like that. So it's like it would be easier for me just to even have that put whatever files I need off of any of these laptops on, which both run Linux. This one Fedora, this one Red Hat um, Enterprise Linux. Um, put whatever files I want onto a flash drive and then kind of plug it in and mount the flash drive using um, the little um, USB jig thing here and let's go ahead and transfer the files over I mean it's pretty easy to use um, but yeah so that's it um, just a quick little you know um, what was it a tip I guess yeah just a tip yeah quick little tip from uh, Major Linux of Enthusiast Reviews and MajorsHouse.com Take it easy. Peace.